This is how chemotherapy works. Chemotherapy is a treatment that uses different drugs to destroy cancer cells and which may be recommended by a doctor to those who have cancer. In a healthy body, cells grow and divide as part of their own cycle, and the one in charge of controlling this process is the nucleus of the cell. Inside each nucleus, a genetic material called DNA contains the instructions to direct this process. Sometimes, the DNA of cells is damaged. However, the DNA responds by repairing itself or by signaling the cell to die. But when there is cancer, the DNA cannot repair itself or cause the cell to die. Even the damaged DNA causes the cell to grow and divide uncontrollably, generating more damaged cells, called cancer cells. As cancer cells multiply and crowd out normal cells, they form a tumor itself that, as it grows, develops its own blood supply. Also, because cancer cells don't stick as well as normal cells, they can break off and enter a nearby blood vessel. Cancer cells in the blood vessels can travel to other areas of the body and form additional tumors. This is called metastasis. Additional tumors can form in areas such as the lungs, liver, and bones. Another way cancer can spread to other areas of the body is through your lymphatic system. Cancer cells can enter the lymphatic vessels near the tumor and then travel to small glands called lymph nodes. If the cells pass through the nodes, they can continue to travel through the lymphatic system and form additional tumors. Chemotherapy works by targeting rapidly growing and reproducing cells which is a common characteristic of cancer cells. For its part, the tumor shrinks when cells stop dividing and die. Most chemotherapy drugs work systemically, meaning as they travel through your body in the bloodstream, they damage metastatic cancer cells as well as organs. Unfortunately, the drugs used in chemotherapy can't tell the difference between fast-growing normal cells and cancer cells. So as a result, these drugs also damage or irritate some of the fast-growing normal cells, such as those in the bone marrow, bone, digestive system, and hair follicles. For its part, death, irritation, or damage to those normal and healthy cells produces secondary effects, such as a weak immune system, nausea, and hair loss. The goal of chemotherapy is to reduce or eliminate cancer cells in the original tumor and any metastatic sites. In addition to being a primary treatment for cancer, doctors often use chemotherapy as a secondary treatment, before, during, or after other treatments for the primary cancer, such as radiation therapy or surgical removal of a tumor. Depending on the location and type of cancer, the patient may receive chemotherapy drugs intended to circulate throughout the body, including pills, capsules, or liquids by mouth, and intravenous or intramuscular injections. Alternatively, you may receive medications administered only to the area of the tumor. One local method delivers medication to the bladder or chest through narrow tubes called catheters. Another local method injects medication into the cerebrospinal fluid that surrounds the brain and spinal cord. A third local method places slowly dissolving wafers in an area where a tumor was removed. In most cases, the patient will receive different chemotherapy drugs to increase their effectiveness. It should be ruled out that several chemotherapy treatments distributed over a period of weeks or months can be received as this allows the body to recover between treatments and eliminate as many cancer cells as possible. Common side effects of chemotherapy include nausea, hair loss, decreased appetite, fatigue, anemia, bruising, and diarrhea. During chemotherapy, it is important to rest, eat nutritious foods, and take medications prescribed by your doctor to reduce or minimize these side effects.